Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix slow motion issue with the game on a Windows computer. Now the first step is to change, you can lower down graphics settings to medium, set the, you can set it to 60 Hertz and turn off the VSync, cap the FPS slightly below your monitor refresh rate. Now for this, you can go to game and then you can go to settings. So top left click on this gear icon and then go to settings and then go to game settings now you can go to video first of all go to display now over here uh, you can set the refresh rate to 60 hertz and then you can even set the frame rate to maybe 60 fps and turn off the vsync and when you do so at the bottom you will see apply settings hit apply and then check you can set the refresh rate also uh, slightly lower than your monitor refresh rate and you can do the same thing with fps you can set it as your monitor refresh rate and then you can try both vsync on and off so first of all turn it off and then apply the settings and then check now also go to graphics over here now if the graphic preset is set to like ultra you can set it to high you can even go for medium and then apply and then you can check now still not working the next step is to use wired connection for the controller now this has worked for many players so if you're using wireless connection you can use the cable the usb cable to connect the controller to the computer and then you can check so use wired connection and then check you have to relaunch the game for this now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder so if the game install uh, if you have the game on steam then you can go to the steam location and then open fc26 folder and then select the game exe file and if you have the game on ea app then in that case program files ea games and then open EA Sports FC 26 select the game over here and then click on add once the game is added over here click on the game and then select high performance over here you will see your graphic card over here and then relaunch the game and then check still not working disable game input service enable it once you are done playing the game now for this you can type in services in windows search box and then click on services now find game input here you can see game input service so you can just make a double click on game input service you can disable it and then apply click on ok and you can stop the service if it's running stop it so once this is disabled you have to use the wired connection button so go for wired connection and then you can launch the game once you are done playing the game once you have played the game you can make a right click and you can make a double click over here and you can set it to automatic or manual and then apply if you want to start the service you can start the service so you can uh, enable it once you're done playing the game but first of all disable it and then relaunch the game play the game and then once done you enable it disable high precision event timer in device manager Enable it again, enable it once you're done playing the game. For this, make a right click in the start menu and then go to device manager. And expand system devices. And over here you can see high precision event timer. You can make a right click and then you can disable it. Click on yes. And now you can launch the game, relaunch the game and then check. Once you are done playing the game, go to device manager system devices and then make a right click enable and then check now still not working the next step is to ea app users you can close steam epic games launcher xbox game bar nvidia's overlay nvidia app so you can close all the third party application in your computer if you have any kind of usb adapter any like if you have Vota's wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected, sometimes we have extra controller connected. Disconnect all the external devices which you're not using, disconnect it. If you have the game on Steam, in that case, you can close this Epic Games Launcher, Xbox Game Bar, NVIDIA, Overlay, EA app, and then 
close all the third party application unplug all the external devices which you are not using and then launch the game next step is to run the game as an administrator so if you have the game on steam or e app uh, wherever you have the game uh, you can go to the game installation folder and then you can just make a right click on the game exe file over here and then you can click on run as administrator if that does not work you can even try to launch this ea anti cheat game service launcher as an administrator and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the slow motion issue with the game so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel